Hello, people. <laughs> Whether you're watching Simtastic XO here, and today I am bringing you the latest video of the Legacy Challenge, which is also the first video of my Legacy Challenge. Now, I've got to state a few things before I begin. First thing is, if you may have seen my other, my two other videos, they will no longer be continuing because um, my Sims got basically a virus and I had to start it again so that kind of sucks so I lost all my saves the second thing is um, I'm very aware that Vixella is doing the legacy challenge but um, I got quite inspired by her so um, I just wanted to make my own so let's start by meeting my sim so the first so basically this is our founder sim her name is Beatrice Allen and she wants to be a renaissance sim and the little trait that comes with that is quick learner which basically means she'll get skills faster she's romantic family oriented and neat so basically pretty much your ultimate legacy challenge um, sim and her backstory is kind of short <laughs> but all it is is that she was a orphan and she really wants to have her own family one day so she was like you know what I don't want people in my family to not have a f not have a family like she grew up in an orphanage for all her life. Um, I mean, she was brought into a few families, but was sent back for some different reasons. And she just really wants to have her own family so that she can, you know, feel loved and give children that love. I don't know where I'm going with this, but basically she was an orphan. And you can basically get the idea from that. Now, you're probably thinking, why are her clothes so, you know, not that glamorous? Because, realistically, a girl who's lived in an orphanage her entire life, and um, moving out has basically had one part-time job in her entire life, she doesn't have that much money. So, this is I feel like this is realistic. And she has a little bit of makeup on, but... Other than that, she goes bargain, and there's nothing wrong with that, to be honest. Her next outfit looks like this, and her next every day is like that. So you can just tell they're all very simple and plain, and I'm pretty sure they're all base game, except for Honor. Oh they're not. The shorts. The shorts in this one and this one are not from the base game. Okay, her formal wear. Now, this gets a little bit more glamorous. Um, I can't explain this part. I just wanted to give her a formal, pretty outfit, and I think she looks really, really pretty. I tried to stay slightly, you know, not extremely glamorous, but I kind of went out of the, out of hand. I don't know. Maybe she borrowed this outfit from a friend, which she has none of at this stage. Um, this is her athletic, just some sweatpants and comfy top. This is her for, uh, formal wear? Yeah, she's totally going to wear this to a restaurant. No, this is her... What do you call it? Sleepwear! Um, and it's just a really cozy dressing gown and and slippers because, because, I'm sitting here in my fuzzy pajamas thinking, it is getting so cold! Um, I don't know how many degrees it is, but it's getting cold and I can feel it. That's her party wear and I think it's really pretty. Um, but we can fix it later. And her swimwear. So all of this, these outfits will definitely get updated when she has a bit more money. But yeah, so I will see you guys in the actual gameplay, or possibly when I start building the house. But I just got to get it ready. But I kind of just wanted to show you her outfits. And by the way, here is a close-up on her face. Alrighty, I'll see you guys when I get to the gameplay, I guess. <laughs> Hi, hello, I'm back. Um... Sorry, I'm just trying to get my timer on because I forgot to do that. Resume. Okay, so we have 15 minutes left. So, basically what I thought I'd do is read you some of the rules if you don't already know. Just basically, kind of like just a brief overview and also how I've chosen to do my legacy challenge. So the first things I will tell you about is, so to become an heir to the family, aka the person who makes the babies and continues the, each generation of the Legacy Challenge has to be a um, female, but if there are no females in that generation, 
it, it can be a boy. Um, so that's called the matriarchy. Then I've chosen the traditional. The next option is traditional, which is um, they can only be ch children that are heirs can only be children that are actually naturally born. They can't be adopted unless there are no um, p like purebred. I don't know, like genetic DNA children <laughs> um, in the family, which then they can be adopted. And last but not least, it ha to become an heir, if they say are, uh, say there are three um, naturally born females, the one that would become the heir would be the one who has the best relationship with the parent. Okay, you get it? And so the rules with this legacy challenge is that you cannot use any cheats, you cannot um, quit after a bad event has happened, so you lose, like, you can, so you lose what's just happened. You cannot, um, you have to stay on the same lot for the entire challenge, so this is literally going to be our home forever. Um, you can not merge a family. Um, the spouses can bring no money in. Um, only one anti-aging sort of potion thing can be used per sim and so like she could only drink one anti-aging potion in her lifetime um no changing an uncompleted aspiration no bringing back sims from the dead and to use to get sims in you can use the hashtag legacy loves um from the gallery which will help you bring in sims to date basically also i've been meaning to tell you all I'll write it on the screen now. Um, the hashtag that I'll use for my for my um, channel and basically for you guys to easily find my stuff is it's really random, but really random. It's it's really strange, but it's hashtag ba potato nana. Okay, do you get it? It's on the screen. B a p o t a t o n a n a hashtag ba but potato nana. It's basically banana with potato in the middle. Really strange. I couldn't think of anything else. And also, <laughs> continuing with the legacy challenge, um, there is a scoring system, which I'm a little bit confused with, but I think I've got the gist of it. If you can explain it to me, that would be so good. But basically, there's all these points, and you have to get um, 100 points to really finish the legacy challenge. And, um, I've figured out the way you can lose points is by, if any time the bills are shut off, so like, the bill, so you don't pay the bill and the power gets shut off, that will minus, water gets shut off, that minus the point, and I think, um, what's the last one? I can't remember the last one, but you basically just minus points for any bill shut off. And, um, I have got the link to the scoring thing but I'm not going to put that in just because it's very long but the thing is if you can explain to me in the comments that'd be great but otherwise I'll just do what I think it is um but yeah so if you bleh, um I've purchased this lot and I have purchased the knight of octagon table suit armor which is required for you to purchase so that you have exactly this amount of money. Um, I don't know why you couldn't have just cheated so you had that amount of money, but I guess it'll work. And we basically have that amount of money to build our house. Yep. 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 That's true. So let's just build a basic little house. So I'm going to try and make it look as nice as possible. So let's just... Okay, we can put a bed down here. So that's where there's $180 gone. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, that took a lot of our money. Next thing, I want to add a door, because that's quite necessary. I guess this is what we're going to have to add. Oh, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay, I get to use this door, because it's pretty. Yay, I can actually get a good door. That's very exciting. I was just about to purchase these doors. These really ugly doors. But this one was up for grabs. So that's not too bad. Um, let's see if we can get any colors. $2, $2. 
four dollars okay so let's just use a basic green I guess we can have a greenhouse and let's add a little window I feel like this is gonna get too expensive but forty dollars thirty dollars thirty dollars okay wow this looks so good <laughs> it really doesn't it really looks really bad but Hey, we have $1,800 to build a house, so I don't really know what else we would do. <laughs> okay, and let's... I'm just trying to make it look as nice as I can. Get it to look. Okay. Now, whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy! Um, let's add a bed in. 240, 255. This is what we got right now, people. That was expensive. That was expensive. Okay, let's get a chili bin or a cooler. What you guys call it. So, let's get a green one because we're snazzy. What else do we need? Oh, a toilet. That could probably help us survive. Um, I know, a green toilet. But I'm just trying to make this... Let's make a greenhouse. I mean... Okay, then. There's no green option. That's okay. We'll keep the yellow option. But let's just make a little greenhouse while we can. Okay, $157. We need a sink. We need a sink. Yes! We can afford one! That is so happy. That is so happy. That is so great! Okay, we have $37. I hope this is all we need to survive. Oh, wait. One little thing. One more thing. Let's add a terrain paint. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So we've got this grand entrance and then bam. Bam. It's really sad actually. Look at the size of the lot. Grid. Oh, right. So that's the size of the lot and that's the size of our house. Yep. A little bit sad. <laughs> but hey it's what we've got so let's start by settling in so we're probably gonna have to meet some people so yes if you want um, if you want to so basically the hashtag I told you before hashtag but potato nana is the hashtag that I will use to upload things to the gallery so that you can find them other than that the hashtag that you can use to possibly get your um, sim into my game which is very likely considering I have four subscribers right now so your sim probably will get put in my game. So use the hashtag ba po hashtag so ba po and then legacy. Literally the weirdest hashtag ever, but mine so mine is the hashtag bo potato ba potato nana and your one is hashtag ba po legacy. And that's how you can get your sims into my game, okay? Okay. Cool. Let's start. How much time do we have? Let's see how much time I have for this video. Six minutes. Let's do what we can. So I'm thinking we could go to the library maybe, meet some sims, and start on our aspiration. So let's do it. I'm really excited. I'm just excited that we have a legacy challenge. And um, we will work on adding some interior wallpapers. Hopefully, we can, you know, do as much as we can. We do not have a shower, but we'll be washing our hands with the sink. Oh my god, that's really sad. <laughs> Look how big that lot is, and how tiny our house. Okay, we're just gonna go to the Willow Creek Archive, Arch Archive, Archive. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm just changing my sound so that for when the alarm goes off. We'll just go with this one. Okay, so I'm really excited to be doing this. I, I've actually tried to do a legacy challenge, but I got bored of filming it, and I thought about just giving you like five minutes update, five minutes updates. That didn't work. Um, and I haven't posted any of them, so yeah. <laughs> also, um, Twitter, at SimtasticXO, and that's about the only social media I have. Also, I know I say also a lot, but that's because I have a lot to say. 
So the next thing I want to talk about is I'm not sponsored because I have four subscribers, so who would sponsor me? But the thing is, I, someone told me about this thing called Nifty on Facebook, and it's like the coolest DIYs I've ever seen, it's like home DIYs. I just really liked everything that was there. I'm just going to quickly edit this library and put a, another computer at this desk. Okay, nope, that's fine. Why won't you? Oh, I, I, I think I might have to put that there and now put it down. There we go. Okay, we'll get a different lamp for that desk. For that desk. Um, where are lamps? Where are lamps? Oh my god. It's a race against time. Um, maybe I have to get one that's a little bit more fitting with the theme of the library. So we'll go with this. Okay. Now let's come and work on some of the computers because they were all taken. Oh, well, actually, there's no point in doing that. Are there any chess tables? Yes. Let's go join this lady with the same t-shirt as us and play a game of chess. Um, so hopefully we'll get a friend. Our first friend because she has the same t-shirt as us. And because we need to work on our aspiration. Her name is Liberty Lee, but I'm not going to lie, I already knew that because I am a little bit obsessed with The Sims. Um, actually, not a little bit. I'm extremely obsessed. And my friends know it. My six friends. Yep. Because I'm popular. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, so I think we have a good friendship with her now. Very small friendship, but she likes us because we have the same taste in fashion. Really, we don't. We just really can't really afford anything right now. Not that co clothes cost money, but it does... It does... Um, I'm trying to make it more realistic, you know. Our sim isn't very glamorous at this stage in her life. I'm just taking a look around the library, by the way, because I have been here, of course, but I haven't really spent that much time here. And I've forgotten what was upstairs. Okay, come on. Reach your logic skill and chat at the same time. Let's try and get to level two before the chap the chapter before the episode is over. What? How did your lo logic skill just go down? Maybe it's because you made a bad move in chess. But we are a quick learner, so we do gain skills faster. See? Quick learners build our skills a little bit faster than everyone else. Isn't that wonderful? How much time do we have? I'm really worried because I don't want to lose my time. Two minutes and 23 seconds. My eyes are watering right now. What else can we do? I know that first parts are always a little bit boring, but... Oh, hello. This is Bjorn. I read in the comment that um, his name isn't pronounced Bjorn. It's pronounced Bjorn with a J as in as a Y. So, ever since then, I've called him Bjorn. And this is Kalara Bjorn. Bjorn. <coughs> oh, my God. I have to edit that out. I'm editing that out because I literally just died a little bit of coughing. Like, honestly, there was probably a little beep. I didn't swear. I just coughed and my eyes are watering it's really fun what you didn't even get your logic up where is she going oh we lost you won no didn't we gotta we gotta mm -mm. i don't like losing <clears throat> also we look better in this t-shirt liberty so can i mock your outfit huh huh nope nope i do need some friends i do Maybe we can invite her over later. There's no guys here. Because, um... At this stage, Beatrice is heterosexual. So, she, um... Is seeking a man... Um... To date. So, hopefully, we'll find a nice guy... Around town. But yes, please use the hashtag... Bapo Legacy. Because that would be wonderful if I could... Have a sim to download... And I have every single expansion except for spooky stuff, so fire away with the expansion content uses. Ugh. Um, is an astronaut at Spacey. So Liberty is very smart. You can tell she likes she likes chess, and she's an astronaut. Go, you go, girl. Yes. Okay. I know we haven't really done anything in this part, but it's about to be over, so. Um, 
I'm really sorry, but I will definitely seek out a guy and possibly try and make some money in the next episode. I don't know if we're allowed to get a job, are we? Oh, there's our timer. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching this first part of my Legacy Challenge. You know what, let's get, let's get a little screenshot of this. And I will hope to see you in the future. Okay then, adios.